Hi everybody, I'm Animal Boy. Today we're at the oldest zoo in the United States, the Philadelphia Zoo. They have a lot of cool animals here, including two baby cougars, which I want to see, and some lemurs and some like giraffes and rhinos and gorillas. And yeah, it's going to be really fun. So let's go. I'm so excited. Tazin, are you excited? You know I am. Yay, let's go. Philly, 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 Philly. Right above me, right here, is Francois Langers. Apparently one of them just had a baby. It's a boy and it is two weeks old. Now the Philly Zoo is amazing in the fact that they have these giant tunnels that go all around the zoo. They were the first zoos to have these tunnels zoo-wide. And so animals like monkeys, like lemurs, like tigers and lions, they can walk around on these big tubes throughout the zoo and people watch. And I think that's quite amazing. And behind me there's some piggies, but Sadly, I cannot see the piggies. I think they're in Tazan. Are they in there? I don't see them right now, but yeah, they're there. Ah, fun. So yes, monkeys and pigs. Sounds like a fun Friday night to me. Hey, Baloo. Baloo's eating a watermelon. Yep. So sloth bears are actually the most dangerous animal of India. Fun really? Fact. Yeah. More than tigers? More than tigers. Because if you encounter a tiger in the wild, and like you start a tiger, tiger will run. If you start a sloth bear, you'll be, get punched in the face. I heard that, like sloth bears are like, okay, it's on. Yes, they're always ready to fight. Wow. They woke up and chose violence, as the youngins say. Okay, well this, this name's Baloo after the jungle bear. Yeah, the jungle book, because theoretically speaking, if the jungle book takes place in like a jungle in India, and these bears are the bears that live in the jungles in India, Baloo would be a sloth bear and not a brown bear, like everyone else thinks it is. Hey dude, what's up? Ah, yes, the majestic giraffe. Now, interesting thing about giraffes, look at how they walk. They walk with two foot on the left, two foot on the right. Two foot on the left, two foot on the right. I do the same thing, if I had. Well, yeah, because you only, like, walk on two feet. Actually, no, I'm a Tasmanian devil. I walk on four feet. Yeah, but I've, wait, I've never seen you walk on four feet, though. Your, your necklace must hang down. Yeah, you just don't know me that well yet. I don't only let my really close friends. Wow. I'm just kidding. These <laughs> giraffes are my new friends now. You're Peter, you're Peter too. Ah uh, yes, the majestic hippo. Now hippos, they actually fooled everyone. Everyone thinks hippos, they live in the water, they can swim. Well guess what? They cannot swim. They can't? No, they just gallop underneath the water. Is That's this crazy. one coming up for an air? Please say it is, please say it is. There he is. Looks like, yay, hippo breath. Wow. The breath of the hippopotamus. Hippos took a page out of the crocodile's book. And so they got their eyes, ears, and nostrils at the top of their heads so that they can slightly come out of the water, breathe, and then go back into the water. Behind me right now is Tony the Rhino. He's getting a scrub. Here, Tazin, can you zoom in on that? Yeah, look how happy, he looks so fun. Now rhinos, they're like essentially big Labradors. Most people think of them as like really angry, really aggressive, but no, they love cuddles. Obviously you shouldn't cuddle one in the wild, I do not condone that anyway whatsoever. However, no. rhinos are just, they're peaceful animals normally. They, they sniff, are, yeah. they like to eat shrubs, they're, um, they're chill. Some of them are striped and have long legs like this guy over here. Oh yeah, that's a weird looking rhino. Oh, that's a zebra. A ze... ze oh yeah, I, I forget you're Australian. I, some, I sometimes forget that, but then I get reminded when you say stuff like that. Go Aussies! Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony. Taz and I just saw a tiger walking through that top thingy right there. It was up there, right? Not down there? Yeah, in that, up right. there. Okay, It was yeah. in the sky. It was in, it was in cage, in a yes. cage sort of area. But uh, yeah, let's go in there. Let's go see if we find it. See. All right. So fun fact about tigers, you might be wondering, why are they orange? Orange seems to stand out in the jungle quite easily. I would think so. Well, actually, it's because of their prey. You see, deer, they can't see orange. You know what deer see orange as? Green. Oh, That's man. right. To t deer, and their prey, tigers are green. Whoa, that's crazy. There's the tiger. Oh, there he is. That is an amazing tiger. I think that's a, a moor slash Siberian tiger. They are the largest cats in the world. They can get up to nine feet long. 
and uh, they're found in Asia and specifically like Russia. And what Northern about the ligers? Asia. Ligers are where you can get when you get a tiger and a lion and they are an abomination to nature and they should not exist. Okay. Yes. But well then, we'll call this the largest. Yes, this is the largest natural one and one that does not make me sad. There you go. Yeah, let's That's go and see if we can see the lions and the uh, cougars and kitty cats. A wimbo way, a wimbo way, a wimbo way, a wimbo way. Oh, in the zoo, who the mighty zoo, who the lioness sleeps tonight. Wimbo, wimbo way. <laughs> There's the baby cougars. Yeah, there they are. Yep, and so um, these cougars, they're very similar to the cougars we had at Elmwood. May that being, they're both orphans that came from out west. Their mother was sadly killed, rest in peace. But now this zoo is giving them a second home, and this is one of the great parts about zoos. They sort of act as like extra wildlife. And to save a wildlife that would otherwise not survive in the wild. Look at all these cool signs from Washington to PA. Whoa. I can't believe they made them. That's really cool. Yeah. We need, we need to get the Florida panther here. Oh, yes. I would. Maybe we can have Cypress visit sometime. That'd be something. Yeah. It's one of, no, it's one of your favorite animals. Yes, I do love cougars and uh, mountain lions and panthers, catamounts, whatever you call them, I love them. <laughs> awesome. Up there is what we call a leopard. A uh, leopard, I love leopards. Specifically in the moor leopard, like, um, like the moor tiger we just saw. Both are very in danger and both are found in like northeastern Asia. This is the most endangered animal they have in this zoo, we were told. Yes. Only a hundred exist in the wild, which is again, another good reason they're zoos. Because zoos are like the bank of wildlife. If something goes extinct in the wild, we know we can save them because they exist in zoos. Right. And sadly, that's probably what's going to happen to the orangutan. The orangutan, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a more a leopard. Right. <laughs> These are the Amazonian giant river otters. They're the giant river otters? Yes, they're the biggest otters. <laughs> wow, what's he doing? He's spinning out of control. Wow, that's crazy. That is incredible. Spin. My man thinks he's a dreidel. <laughs> I get knocked down, but I get up again. No, it's you spin me right around. Run, baby, right around ah. like a record player. I ran to the wall doing that. Careful. I think he's protecting the slide. I think he's like, this is my slide. The no one else gets to go on my slide. The king of the slide. My slide. Hello, everybody. I'm the one, the only, the amazing rust, the chicken, and I am going behind them, behind the wooden beam. Rush, and I am back now. Rush, your head's lost a lot of weight. And you, where's your hands? I've had much plastic surgery in recent times. You look fantastic. Thank you. And there's this very nice colonel who wants to take me out to dinner. I see that. Also, I live with owls now. And this guy, this cow. Hello, Mr. Cow. His name's Plastic. Dude. Nice gig. Nice hangout. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I think you want me to push you? I can't push you. We can't push you on the swing. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. I don't think they can push you either. Are you okay with me? Are we good? This is Spider Monkey's cannon event, by the way. You can't be pushed on the swing. What? Oh. No. You're upside down? That looks comfortable. I'm sorry, did I insult you? Bye. Monkey away. All right. <laughs> Emu. Zuh. There's two emus. And fun fact about emus, they cannot walk backwards. Look. See they em? can't walk backwards. What does that mean? Nope, they can't do this. They can only do this. So they can't moonwalk, you're saying? Nope. The, Michael Jackson has never been an emu. Let's go ask this emu if that's true. Emu, is it true that you cannot walk backwards? Excuse me, emu. Can you walk backwards? You know why they can't walk backwards? Why? They only have front-facing toes. Uh-huh. Well, we only have front-facing toes. That's a good point. But we can walk backwards. Get They're your, just lazy. Get your act together, emus. 
It's not that hard to walk backwards. You are literally the Tiki Shack ostrich. You should love walking backwards. The Tiki Shack ostrich. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Hey, what's up? Oh, you hear the sound they're making? Okay. Emus do make weird noises. Like a barking sound. So these filing cabinets outside the aviary, this must be where the birds do their taxes. What kind of bird does taxes? A secretary bird, of course. Okay, it's time to go into the aviary and see some beards. Yeah, let's go check out the birds, man. Bird time. This place is for the birds. Uh-huh. Now it's time to go see the primates. Yeah. Right, King Kong's there. Yeah, and King Julian. And King Louis, actually. Man, I never realized how many primates have monarchies. Long live the primate monarchy. Long live primate monarchy. Woohoo! This right here is a, um, it's a sleeping gorilla. And every day I am thankful that gorillas are pacifists because they can lift 2.5 times more than a human. Wow. And they have a stronger bite force than the hyena. Yikes. Yeah, that's terrifying, but luckily they're peaceful animals. Oh look, and there's another friend of his behind him. Ooh, that's the male. So the males are called silverbacks because, well, they got these big silverbacks. I see that. And gorillas, despite having, like, being so much stronger than humans, they actually have the same um, muscle mass to body mass ratio that we do. Really? Or that you do, I'm not, or you general watching do. <laughs> yeah, we don't have much body mass at all. We're animals. No, yes. But yeah, it's 38%. And despite having this 38%, they can live 2.5 times more, which is because of their bone structure. They got a better bone structure for lifting and stronger bones. They're more flexible. So you want to hear my theory on lemurs? Do I? I hope you do. Do I? Yes. That was the question I'm asking you. Do I? Oh, you do. Okay. So the most famous of the ring-tailed lemurs is King Julian. But the interesting thing, lemurs do not have kings. In ring-tailed lemur society, the females are actually the ones who like control the pack and make the decisions. So this means King Julian might be a trans icon. It's always possible. Never know. Never know. You go. Now you know. So Tazin, what was your favorite animal here today? Oh my gosh, I think I like the sloth bear. The sloth oh, bear was amazing. The sloth bear was fun. I really like the uh, gorillas. The gorillas and, are incredible. And the hippos, the hippos and penguins were very fun as well. So many animals. Yes, thank you to the Philadelphia Zoo for letting us film here. Y'all are super kind. Thanks to Julie and, who walked us around and showed oh yes, us things. Thank you, Julie. She was our tour guide. And for Xavier, the day. who was an awesome security Xavier guard. Xavier was awesome too. Make sure you come to the Philly Zoo, support them. Links in the description and have a good one because our camera's about to die any second. See any ya. Second, bye.